Hello my friend and welcome to my channel today. I've got Super Chick Lacquer Cold Rush and I'm going to use some na nail foils. <laughs> I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 and here is Cold Rush by Super Chick Lacquer. And here we go. We're going to go in with our first coat. And this, like all of the Super Chick Lacquer polishes I've ever used, has an amazing formula. I mean they just are so easy to work with and I think that's what draws me to them on top of their beautiful colors and this is a gold but it looks like it's got like little silver flecks in it it's and hollow it's just so perfect I'm gonna go in for a second coat although it didn't really need it I couldn't see any visible nail line but I have to do that second coat so I'm crazy like that I'm just gonna go ahead and oh I just love this. This is just so easy. I will be using the Super Chick Marble Liquid Macro Top Coat and go over this one and seal it in before I play with the nail foils. Just gorgeous. Love, love, love. <laughs> I am capping my free edge. And there's a swatch photo of it on its own. I'll be using the nail foil glue. I've got it on all my other nails and I'm applying it to my last one right here. It just goes on kind of milky looking. And you know it's ready when it dries because it dries clear. These nail foils came in some sort of kit. So I don't have a product number or anything like that for them or a link. Uh, I think they came in one of the glitter days kits that I got way back in the day and I'm just cutting them with my little snippy scissors down to size and then I'm gonna stick them on the nail and I am using a makeup wedge to kind of rub them down and make them stick really well I end up changing tools here in a moment <clears throat> I'm just rub rub rubbing and I'm gonna pull it off and there we go here, here, I got to try to figure out which way I want it to face. <laughs> there we go. So I'm still using the makeup wedge. I am fixing to, fixing to. That's such a southern thing. I'm about to change tools just because I, I, you know, I'm not 100% sure this is working for me. So I'm going to use the corner or the back end of my Wistonia tweezers. <laughs> you can use a cuticle pusher, an orange wood stick whatever is handy and I am loving this look I love that you can still see the base color underneath really well it's got that beautiful laciness to it this is one of those year-round manicures I believe this look looks good in the summer winter fall spring whenever it's just kind of classic just works so well give you a break from those neons and those bright colors it still holds very much your interest, especially with that hollow in it. I am loving this. I do love playing with nail foils, kind of like water decals. They're, they add such great interest to a manicure without it being, you know, too much work, really. There we go, back to the sponge. And then back to the end of the tweezers. Works out really good either way. Like I said, you can use whatever tool you feel comfortable with. And then pull it off. There we go. I will top this one with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Finals. Seal it all in. So that those don't just wash off the next time I wash my hands. So there we go. You guys let me know if my little watermark is distracting or annoying. Um, there's been a lot of thievery on YouTube, and I've been educated to try to use watermarks on my videos. So let me know what you think. All right. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Good to see you. And here comes my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.